y'all. Welcome to Miss Clark's Chemistry class. We're going to do something a little bit different today in this lesson. We are going to practice predicting the product of double replacement reactions, but we're going to do it using a virtual lab. So for this virtual lab, I'm going to show you, I think, nine aqueous solutions. Now remember, an aqueous solution is an ionic compound dissolved in water. I'm going to show you the names. You need to write down the formula. That's the first thing that you need to do. Also, make sure that you print out a solubility rules list. This is a list that's going to give you the basic rules of solubility of the formation of a solid precipitate in a double replacement reaction. That's the whole point, double replacement reaction. We need to be able to predict, is this a good reaction? And what is the solid precipitate? So you will need that list of solubility rules, number one. Number two, you need to also make sure you understand a good double replacement reaction is either going to, number one, produce a solid precipitate, number two, produce liquid water, or number three, produce a gas. All of the reactions that I am going to do for you, we're looking for the formation of a solid precipitate. I am going to show you for all of the reactions, because I'm going to take these nine aqueous solutions, and I am going to mix and match them in every possible way. And ooh, let me let you in on a little secret right up from the get. There's 52 combinations. But I hope you notice this video is not too, too long, so hopefully we can get through all 52 pretty quickly. This is your goal. As these reactions go by, you need to make sure and note the ones that form a solid precipitate. For each reaction, I will first give you in text the name of the reactants. The second image will be the first reactant all alone. The third image will be after I've added the second reactant and whether it's a reaction forming a solid precipitate or a no reaction where there's no color change, no nothing change. Make sure you pay attention to the ones that form a solid precipitate because at the end of the lab, you are going to be expected to predict that product and write out that full reaction labeling the solid precipitate in the product. Make sure you've got your periodic table, solubility rules, something to write on. Let's get started.
guys, I hope that wasn't so bad, and I hope you got a lot of practice predicting double replacement reactions. Until next time, bye, y'all.